हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सोलार सेल लेट्स एगेन सोलार सेल इज ए जंक्शन डायट हुई कन्वर्स सनलाइट इंटू इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वी कैन गेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रम सनलाइट by using a device that one is solar cell which one is a junction diode that solar cells are made up of silicon cadmium sulfide gallium arsenide etc the construction बीजे जंक्शन डायड हेर इज द पी टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर देर एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर द मेटालिक सेक्शन इज आर्ट लोअर ऑफ दैट ऑफ एन टाइप upper of that of p type in a small reason because in another regions are exposed to sunlight this is sunlight from sunlight it is produced electricity for that reason the two end are connected to metallic section in order to show what be the potential difference created by taking sunlight to that of pn junction diode the typical construction of solar cell now we have to understand what be the physics behind it as a pn junction diode converts sunlight into electricity to explain it we take the pn junction diode upper half is p type lower half n type that be the barrier potential or depletion region the width of the depletion region let w width of depletion region in p type the majority charge carrier are the holes and the ion produced the negative ions 
that negative ions are on that of depletion region similarly in case of n type semiconductor the majority charge carriers are the free electrons and the ion the positive ions that are on the depletion region positive ions we just show ions in that of depletion region as there will be the contribution of ions in order to produce potential difference across p and n type for that reason we show only ions without showing the majority charge carriers let me explain the principle when sunlight is allowed to incident on the solar cell photons are absorbed and electron hole pairs are produced in p and n regions when sunlight exposed to that of p n junction diet sunlight a form of energy that is photon of energy as incident on that of solar cell photons are absorbed and electron hole pairs are produced both p and n regions in p regions this is electron that one is hole electron positive ions holes negative ions electron hole pair in p region also electron hole pair in n region three electrons and holes three electron positive ions holes as negative ions okay the electrons and holes generated over a small distance from the junction can reach the depletion layer of with w by the process of diffusion that is the depletion region w be the width of that of depletion region as that pn junction is exposed to sunlight so electron hole pairs are produced on p type as well as on n side so these electron hole pairs are now are that of depletion region near that of depletion region and they are try to penetrate through that of depletion region by the process of diffusion the electrons and holes are separated by the barrier field across that of depletion region now the electrons from p side can move towards n side and the holes from the n side from the n side can move towards p side to the holes electrons from p side move towards n side so electrons from p sides move towards n side so at that depletion region here is the positive ions so electrons are developed across this similarly holes from n side can move towards the p side holes from the n side can move towards the p side as there will be the negative ions 
so holes are now at that of p side as a result what happened if that the solar cell is open circuited then the collection of electrons and holes on that of two sides of the junction produces an open circuit voltage due to that of positive positive potential due to that of negative negative potential is developed across that of p and n type and that potential difference is known as v o c that is the open circuit potential open circuit potential open circuit potential is the positive and negative now we can connect these two ends through that of a resistor in order to calculate what be the current across that of load when a load resistance rl is connected between the two terminals of a solar cell a current i flows through that of circuit and the maximum current uh, will flow on what condition when terminals of that of solar cell are short circuited and that maximum current is known as short circuited current okay as a potential difference created so we can uh, achieve electricity by using that potential difference and that can be connected to a resistor in order to obtain what be the current across that of load or resistor we obtain maximum amount of current when that circuit is short the graphical di diagram that figure is formation of open circuit voltage as open circuit voltage is created therefore we can easily get current across this is the load resistor is a short circuited current that is exposed to sunlight that is the solar cell with load rl maximum current we obtain if we delete the portion of load means if total circuit is short short circuited then we obtain maximum current that is the short circuit current or saturation current in an electronic circuit that solar cell represented by a symbol symbolic diagram of solar cell the terminal and 
the symbol of solar cell. It has wide range of application. Basically, we use solar cell for power supply purpose. It is used as power supply in satellites space vehicles and also to space station power is supplied through that of solar cell solar cell basically used to power supply purpose and the current uh, we obtain maximum as the intensity of sunlight should be maximum the intensity of sunlight is directly proportional what amount of current we obtain from that of particular solar cell so here with the help of this video lecture you understand the concept of solar cell its construction and the principle on which that particular electronic device acted often symbolic diagram of solar cell formation of open circuit voltage and a solar cell with particular load and finally applications of solar cells so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you